Hello everyone, welcome to my ghetto solar shed. The shed was in my backyard when I originally moved into the house. It looked much different than it does now. Uh, it was on a slant because the floor had brought it away into the ground. I fixed it using materials I had around the house, cinder blocks, spare chunks of wood, a lot of expanding spray foam. It doesn't look the greatest, but it looks a lot better than it did. And the main thing is it's functional. It has a 12 volt DC power system inside of it that runs patio lights, a stereo, spotlight at the front, motion activated. I've done it on the cheap with Chinese electronic parts from Amazon, from DX.com, and I'd like to give you a tour. This is what the shed looked like before, red sides, white roof. I painted the roof black to help melt snow in the winter because we are here in Canada and there's tons of snow as you can see in the ground. That's what the front looked like too. It's now level thanks to those cinder blocks. This is what the shed looks like today. I painted it white, the same color as the house, using the same house paint. It has a 20 watt solar panel on the front that I got from Amazon. It was $38, pretty good deal. Um, underneath it is a motion sensor light. I bought them separately and wired them together. My only complaint is the light is a little spotlighty. As you can see here, I sent the dog out to test the light after I first got it done. And it's just very spotlighty. I thought it would illuminate more, but the darker it gets, you still just get that one spot. It's better than nothing, but yeah. So that's that. Here we go on the inside. You can see the panel that I have set up here with OSB. I have an iPad that's just there to run Bluetooth into the stereo system that's hiding behind it. I know the wires look like a mess. I gotta do more to clean that up, but it looks a lot better than it did. This is a cigarette lighter that I have on a switch just to charge the iPad. Put in a USB charger, flip the switch on, job done. Keeps it nice and charged. Underneath we have a little voltmeter that's also on a switch. It just helps you get a ballpark of what the battery's sitting at. The bus bar, everything's hooked up to the bus bar. The charge controller's 20 amps, it was $10. Chinese, but it works. I have no complaints. I got a battery off of Kijiji. Motormaster, I think it was probably two, three years old. Guy hadn't used it in a year. So I charged it back up with a trickle charger, checked the levels, everything was good. So I decided, hell, I'm using it. And it, I've had no complaints. This is the back of the outside uh, switch panel. You'll see that shortly. I've done some wire management, but again, it's not the greatest looking thing, but it is functional. Had to sandwich boards just to support the tin. The tin, putting bolts into it is not the greatest. So I did sandwich some boards just to help screw into. Those are the MR16 bulbs, three watts each. They are bright. I have two more empty sockets behind that I need to get bulbs for. This is a switch panel. It's pretty waterproof. I haven't had any problems so far. I have two switches, a third hole there for expanding. First one controls the lights. Like I said, I have four sockets, only two light bulbs right now, but they are bright. Three watts each. MR16 bulb, 12 volt DC. Second switch goes to 12 volt string lights that I got off of Amazon. They go along the fence line. They're really, really bright. As you can see, this is full daylight and you can see that they're clearly illuminated. At nighttime, right now they're too bright. I'm, I ordered a 12 volt DC switch that will step it down a little bit just to dim it because it's a little bright at night. Great for barbecuing though, like you can see what's going on. Even these pictures don't really show how much it illuminates the backyard. But uh, a little too bright for my liking, so I am going to definitely put that dimmer switch on. That's my only complaint about those lights. They stand up well so far. The other thing I did was put in a stereo. These are waterproof speakers, 100 watt. They were $15 for two of them on Amazon. I glued them to a PVC coupling that I spray painted white to kind of blend in with the shed, put an eye bolt on it. You can hang them anywhere as long as you have enough speaker cable, obviously. That is a marine stereo cover. 
it is hiding a standard car stereo. I bought the cheapest one on Amazon that didn't have a CD player but had Bluetooth. This has Bluetooth, obviously, that pairs with that iPad 2 that's on the inside. And then I can control the whole thing with my phone sitting on the patio, switching songs, changing playlists. It works fantastic. Really, those speakers, for $15 speakers, the treble sounds good, the bass is a little low, but they're $15 waterproof speakers. What do you expect? You're not going to crank this thing up crazy loud because we have neighbors and obviously we don't want to make anyone too angry with us, but it works perfect. Thanks again, everyone, for taking a look. This was all done on the cheap, probably all in with all those accessories that you see, maybe $300, maybe. I think overall it's been a really good addition. Thanks a lot.